I can show you the world. Shining, shimmering, splendor. Tell me, Weston, now when did you last let your heart decide? Never make a pretty woman your wife. Never make a pretty woman your wife. You contrast the funny look on the eye. Never make a pretty woman your wife. How can an angel break my heart? Life's hard. I'm just trying to play my part. But she keeps pushing me, pushing me, pushing me, pushing me. Yo, 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 yo. Okay, let's go. Yo, 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 I just got peed on. It's your boy, JT, Lobster Hit. We're reacting to the New Zealand Navy. Boot camp. These guys are literally freaking beasts. Their training that I've seen so far is just top notch, just crazy. Oh, like the Lord of the Rings. Oh, they're going to Mordor. They're going to Mountain Walk. When I reacted to uh, the New Zealand, the fellow Royal Navy people, the Royal, the UK, the Brits, I got a lot of slack about it because a lot of, there's a lot of salty um, Royal Navy sailors or people that wanted to join them saying, uh, dude, the boot camp video you reacted to, it was like a public access television show or it was something, something, something. Dude, how is it my fault that the BBC or whatever does your programming releases that stuff? Dude, to the public. What am I, how am I supposed to know that, dude? I'm a Yank. I'm a Fats American. Eat my McDonald's. That was the teacher from Matilda. Dude, and what was that marching? Get yourself in the right place, Johnson! Sometimes in life, horrible and unexplainable things happen. But yes, today we're reacting to New Zealand Navy boot camp, it's uh, pretty impressive, dude. Let's just hop right into this video. Make sure you guys subscribe. We're on the road to 100,000 subscribers. Um, also, I am, have been applying for a lot of jobs. As you guys know, I got my degree at the end of December. I graduated with my bachelor's in uh, marketing communications, which aligns perfectly with what I've been doing on YouTube, getting experience growing my own kind of social uh, network and, and YouTube channel, learning a lot of marketing and sales and doing all that. So the videos are gonna slow down probably once I land a job, hopefully very soon maybe like three times a week instead of what I've been doing, like almost daily videos, but it is what it is. You guys understand, we're still on the road to 100K. All right, let's hop in this video. That was really fun as well. Wow, so why are they training so the hard? And how to put them out. What do they, what do, they do? They're shooting us ARs? So this week, uh, we're doing whoa, 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 fire wait, wait, and practicing wait. handling weapon. Uh, today's our first day of firing. Uh, just making sure we know we can actually shoot straight. You have to shoot at least three fifths all right, so first off, we can already see New Zealand. This is way more intense, physically intense than Navy boot camp for the, the U.S. Good old United States. Why that is, like, I'm not going to make any assumptions. Last time I had my foot in my mouth because I was just making all these observations and assumptions, and I'm probably wrong on a lot of them. But as to why they're more physically demanding for New Zealand Navy, I'm assuming it's because they have a smaller fleet and they don't have as many sailors going through their training, so they're able to allocate more resources to more advanced type of training. I've, I'm just taking a wild guess. Um, I've never really seen, I never worked with the New Zealand Navy as it is. I worked with Australian, I, I landed Australian helicopters, Japanese helicopters, Royal, uh, British helicopters. Um, as a landing signalman enlisted, I knew all NATO hand signals, so I was able to interact with all types of NATO countries. But New Zealand, but uh, yeah, we're just throwing out assumptions, but so far it seems very physically Like I'm pretty jealous. That'd be awesome if we'd be able to do that in Great Lakes great mistakes, but Yeah, there's no way we ain't going paddling out on the Great Lakes dude in the winter <laughs> Freaking hypothermia And they have to be really really tidy right to the littlest detail. You wouldn't think it matters, but it does Okay, those are pretty good. A couple more coats on each boot. Similar to the US, we have, you know, always cleaning the compartment from the head to the birthing area to the floor. Very attention to detail oriented. The mariner type skills. So we, we do. We did nothing like this. If you like. Nothing with these different inflatables, different areas, the boats, so there's or... the sea survival, there's the damage control. We didn't do firefighting. 
they we did jump on platforms. We did not shoot. So they are those bull, pump? bull pumps? All necessary. Remember that Counter Strike gun, the bull pump? We didn't shoot ARs. Shot a shotgun and a pistol. Didn't swim in the ocean. On the crowns and the small sailing boats. After that, we went straight onto the 44 foot yachts for two nights. That was that was amazing. I really enjoyed that. Um, and we went um, sailing around Rangitoto and Waiheke. Awesome, dude. That's what I was saying, Navy boot camp. We should be able to get our boating license from graduating Navy boot camp. Like give us more qualifications to go into the civilian world. These guys are learning how to sail. All right, man, that's pretty much it. it just, I gotta go deal with uh, my son. He probably has a poopy diaper. Gotta help the wife out, she's probably really tired. But uh, like I said guys, thank you guys so much for all the support. We're on the road to 100,000 subscribers. Huge shout out to the New Zealand Navy. These guys are a bunch of BAMFs. 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 B-A-M-F-S. Enunciate. Um, I'll see you guys very soon. Like I said, once I land hopefully a full-time job, I'm, I had a couple of interviews and I think they did fairly, I did fairly well. So just uh, actually have a meeting on Friday. I have another phone call tomorrow. So we'll see how it goes. Wish your boy luck. And uh, pop it. Where's my boy, Pap? Oh, there's my boy. Hi, buddy. I love you, boy. And you're such a very, very sweet man. Give me keys. Oh, thank you. Can I pay, Papa? Hey, Papa. Let me see them teeth. Arr, arr. Oh, okay. Lick my finger. Shining, shimmering, splendor.